Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look inside the computer case, and specifically in this episode, at the expansion card slots and the video card slot specifically. Expansion card slots typically live at the bottom end of the case. That's at the one side of the motherboard, typically opposite the processor. Now, there's a number of different things that'll fit in here. The top one is often a video card in a PCI Express slot or an AGP slot, depending on the age of the system. And then there's a number of slots below, generally PCI slots, where you'll fit other things like USB cards, sound cards, and other sorts of things. Now, your video card may actually be integrated onto the motherboard itself, so you'll want to take a look at where the video card is. If you're connecting your monitor to a spot along the back end, up over here, higher up closer to the power supply, then chances are that it's an integrated card. That means that it is built right onto the motherboard and you can't actually take it out, but you can generally add in another video card like the one we have down here, and that will supersede the one that you have integrated into the system. If the monitor attaches to a card that sits perpendicular to the motherboard, then you can remove that and replace it with something newer if you choose. A lot of the new video cards actually require additional power. So in the past, a lot of the video cards got all of their power right from the slot. Newer cards often require another power connector that attaches directly to the power supply. So look around on the video card before you take it out or start uh, working on it, just to be sure that the power cable is disconnected if it needs to be. If you're going to remove the video card or any of the other cards, the first thing you need to do is to check to see how it's secured into the system. This system has a set of screws, so each of the uh, metal brackets on the cards has a little notch and you screw it onto the system. So to remove it, the first thing you need to do is unscrew the screw that keeps it attached to the rest of the computer case. Once you have that done, in a number of cases you can just simply rock the card out, but a number of video cards also have a little tab that keeps it securely in place so that when you're attaching the monitor or anything, you don't rock it out of the slot, which could cause problems and possibly damage the system. The other thing you want to take into account with a video card is how many slots it takes up. This is a more high power video card that we have here and it actually is a bit thicker. So it takes up two slots or two brackets on the back of the system. So it actually also blocks another slot. So you want to be sure if there's anything else in that other slot and you're replacing it with a card that's double width that you take that out or can relocate it. Once you have the new card and you want to put it into your system, you'll just reverse this whole process. You'll take the card, slide it up towards the slot that you're going to insert it into, make sure that the bracket to end uh, against the case is secure and that the tabs go in beside the motherboard and don't bark up against anything. Then you'll slide it in gently and push gently until you hear the click of the tab, if there is one. Then you'll replace the screw. Then you'll also replace the power cable, if there is one. And you're done. The same general process holds for any of the other cards in here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the other parts in this series.